Hello, scientists! Watch this. So the way this works is in order for the lights to light up, this energy stick and really anything that uses electricity needs a closed circuit. So what that means is this. In order for the electricity to flow through the stick, it needs to have a closed circuit for the electricity to travel all the way through. If we break the circuit, then the electricity stops. But once we complete it, it's able to flow through again. Now, the reason it works when I hold it with two hands is because our skin, our bodies, are really great conductors of electricity, which means that the electricity is able to flow through us. When I put both hands on it, we create a full closed circuit with my body. So, closed, open. Now, the reason that our bodies are such great conductors of electricity, which means they're able to have the electricity flow through us is because we're made mostly of water and water is a great conductor of electricity. So we're gonna try um, a few different items from home and figure out which ones are good conductors of electricity, which means electricity likes to flow through them and which ones are maybe not so good. So we started with our metal forks here, which are great. Metal in general is a great conductor of electricity. We're gonna keep our circuit layout here and add different items here to see what works. I have the silicone like spatula mixing spoon from the kitchen. Let's see, what do you think? No, not a good conductor. So silicone, which is what this is made out of, is not a good conductor of electricity. Okay, let's try something else. How about a banana? What do you think? Let's see. Hmm, well, I wonder if it's the peel. Should we try unpeeling it? Okay, let's try it. Mmm, very good. Hey! That's working. I think it's just a little short, so I'm gonna bring it in a little. The banana seems to work. Okay, very cool. So the banana works. If I had to guess why the banana worked, I would say it's because the water inside the banana is probably what's conducting the electricity. <laughs> fruit in general has water in it. So if you're trying this at home, I would try different pieces of fruit and see what happens. And then you have a snack afterward. Okay, next. I have this giant metal ladle. What do you think? It looks like there's a little space under the ladle, so it's not touching it. So I'm going to lift the fork. Yeah. Another metal object. Definitely a good conductor of electricity. Okay, let's try a sponge. So this is a dry sponge and we're gonna do a little experiment here. I want to test whether water is a good conductor of electricity. So first we're going to use this dry sponge. That's hard, it's all dried out. What do you think is going to happen? Let's put these close. Okay. Nothing, it didn't do anything. Now I have this bowl of water. We're gonna dip our sponge in here and get it soaked. Let it soak up some water. Do, do, do. So now it's pretty wet, it's dripping. We're gonna squeeze a little bit of water out of it so we don't make such a big mess. So now our sponge is wet. What do you think? Do you think it'll make a difference? Let's see. Yes, it did. So now that the sponge is wet, it's able to conduct electricity. So I'm gonna try something else. Let's try to squeeze out as much water as possible. 
Now, of course, we're not gonna be able to squeeze all of the water out, but I wanna see if it will make a difference. So it's not dry. It has, it's definitely softened by the water, but it's not soaking wet like it was before. So let's see. What? Okay. <laughs> I definitely thought that it wouldn't really work as well because it's not as much water, but I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna try one more thing. We're gonna clean off the ends of the fork here to make sure there's not a lot of water. And we're gonna squeeze our sponge even more. Ready? One, two, three. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I guess it doesn't take much water in the case of the sponge, but the water that is in there is conducting the electricity. It's enough for it to travel through our closed circuit, which is why it works when we hold it with our hands. Okay, this is pretty fun. So that's the energy stick. That's our cool energy stick that I wanted to show you today. And if you're able to get one of these and try it at home, I would totally be curious about what other fruits would work with it and just what stuff you have around your house that might be able to conduct some electricity. Thanks so much for watching, scientists. This was so fun. If you wanna see more science activities or just learn about science with me, make sure to subscribe and check out the next video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Jaw, set,